Well, guys, it's winter time. It is so bloody cold. Minus one degree Celsius. Uh, I need to get this corn crop off this field. I've been neglecting it. Everything's down here, minus my friends. Hey, where are you guys? <sighs> Once again, on my own. I tried calling everybody. Bammer, Mal, even New Boot. No one's around, and I am stuck in the field by myself again. And I'm still bloody broke. Ah, uh, lovely. Anyways, we'll um, well, we'll we'll dive in. We got some corn to get, guys. Let's get this thing done. Oh, so much corn, so little time. Let's do this. Bitter batter. Once again, our itty bitty S four forties warming up. I got the Capello head on the front of this. Uh, I believe it's a nine meter head we got on this. We have not used this yet. I don't know what the power ratio is going to be. This is this is kind of hitting stuff pretty hard here, guys. I don't know. We have to find out if we can handle it with this little combine. Should be close. Should be close. But um, there's a massive hill on the far side. We're going to have to be somewhat strategic in how we attack this field. Uh, on the far side, I got the 6125 or 6215, sorry. And uh, we got a couple bins, of course, that are looking awfully disgusting right now. What happened here? Like... <laughs> <laughs> man um yeah so we'll see what we can get out of this for corn oh i was really hoping boot would be around i was really hoping i could borrow his uh his combine and some help this is gonna be a big field especially for this little combine let's see if we can get across roadway here open that capello head on up all right guys i don't know if i you know what i'm gonna go should i go to the right and then yeah, we're going to go to the right because I don't think I can make the hill. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here once we get up there. But let me uh, just get around the far side here. We'll make a little bit of a headland around here. I do need to get just a little bit of space, especially down by the river, methinks. Um, so this front one is going to be a bit iffy. Anyways, so we'll get around the far side. And like I said, the hill is really what I'm concerned about. Oh, man, we're filling up pretty quick. Um, yeah, that's going to be fun, too. Oh, yeah, that's that's great trying to get this corn all lined up Then we'll get our GPS on guys. What a pain. Um, yeah, like I said, this thing's That's such a small bin. We I kind of knew it was small when we picked it up But for the price I couldn't really say no Especially when we're not really focusing on well grain crops or even corn for that matter We're just getting enough to pay some bills and for the most part we're focused on cattle cattle and the pigs That's where our money's gonna be made. We still need to harvest stuff, of course Look at this. I'm going to be full in about, well, in two minutes. <laughs> the time I get up the half side of this hill, I'm going to have to dump. And that means driving around back to the bins. So we don't seem to be having too many problems on this hill. Um, I thought this one might give me a bit of a problem, but you know what? Maybe we can just zigzag up and down this far hill. We'll see here. This is the, the big hill that I was kind of worried about beforehand. We'll get up here and stop. Let's turn this around and just head down the hill. Um, now I've got them and repositioned our bins so you can see I just unloaded right there But it's only one bin. We got we got two bins. Uh, I put the other one down at the bottom So that I've got one on kind of either side of the field since I'm on my own out here I couldn't even get Gertie or Matilda to come out if you had today. So I do kind of need to have the bin strategically placed Yeah, it should make life a little bit easier, but it's still not great guys. It's still a lot of driving There you go. You can see the bin down there right by the river I hope it doesn't roll. So here, now this was the hill that I was worried that I wouldn't be able to make it up. So I'm hoping I can just do a headland around the far side around this, and then we can just set this up and uh, just do just do the roll lines back and forth. I don't know, guys. This is so steep. Oh, look at this hill. It doesn't. It's deceiving. I'm telling you, it is deceiving down here. You think it's fine, but this hill it goes pretty much straight on up. So we'll see if we can get... I don't know if this little combine is going to handle it or not. We have some problems trying to even plant this. We can do this? That's going to be awesome. All right. So it looks like I'm going to be pretty close as far as my placement goes for that, uh, that bin. And then once we're done that... Oh, man. I still got to get around the far side. I never even thought about that. It's going to be close. Yeah, we could have backed that up a touch, but that's all right. Oh, man. So much corn. So much corn. All right. Pull us on up. I'm going to empty out right here. There you go. We just hit the 85% mark. Maybe we get to the end. I'll just back this on up and dump it out since we're here. And then we'll go and keep on going around. And there is 6,500 liters full. Shut that off. 
back this on up. Uh, you know what? I'll just back this right up against the river. Don't back in. Go back in. Go back in. Back. We'll back into the river. Best driver in farm sim. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> right there nice perfect all right that looks good so far so good okay so this hill i gotta see if i can climb that that's gonna be the task i mean look at the elevation change right in here oh man guys that's a lot oh, none of these shrubs cool this should be almost done perfect now I, gotta, I, I need to get around the far side again. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm definitely not going to make it. Uh, just looking where we're starting from. We're almost back to the road, but that's still a good... I'll bet you a third of our tank that's going to be filled before I get back to the bin placement now. All right, we're getting there already. Down at the bottom once again. Just setting things up. Let me turn GPS back on here. There we go. Is that going to turn sharp enough? There she goes. Excellent. All right, we'll let that steer. Uh, missed some. I missed some back there silly gps that's all right <laughs> we'll figure it out perfect so i decided that uh this is probably gonna be the, the best one i didn't really think this through the way we planted this out but uh we'll go left to right it'll i uh, should start at the top portion to be perfectly honest but whatever we'll make do we're gonna be full pretty quick anyways uh I, you know ideally it'd make it a lot simpler if i started at the top and worked my way down wouldn't it yeah that's okay didn't really think that through uh it was a little brain time not big brain time We'll get it figured out next time. But uh, for this, let me go dump this out right now, actually, since we're here. And get this last little bit that seems to get keep on missing just a touch. I think I cut it in just a bit too sharp with the GPS. We'll just turn this off. Grab this last little bit, and we'll go dump out. This should almost do it. We'll do a little bit more, a couple more runs. I've got a bit more room, I think, up in the top bin as well. And uh, we'll already have our first set to go dump in. I don't know if I... Did I hit that? No, I didn't. That was close, but I didn't hit it. Looked like it did, but I didn't. You guys are seeing things. <laughs> so a couple more ba uh, runs back down here. We'll take this up and we'll be done the, the bottom bin. I'll head to the top. I'll do the same thing up there. It's not going to take us all that long to get through this, I guess. So we finished up up top. Got a bunch more corn in the bin. And uh, we're just going to go dump this out now. Guys, I got to go down below. Grab that second bin that's down at the bottom and take that back to the shop. Uh, it's such a long trek from over here. We got to go across the bridge and all the way over there since the river is kind of blocking us off. It's nice, but it's just, oh man, it's easy. And then you realize how short we are on fuel as well. I really hope I can get through the harvest with the fuel we got. Oh, it's going to be a tight one, guys. <laughs> I've just been flicking that gas gauge. Uh, is that right? That can't be right, is it? <laughs> it's like completely empty. Cougar, this is Maverick. We've had enough fun for one day, don't you think? I'm getting a little low on fuel, so we're heading home. Oh, man, guys, I don't know anymore. I don't know if we have enough fuel to get through this, and I don't have any cash to buy anymore. Oh, yeah. I wish fuel was cheaper right now, like, as in free. So as for our corn, guys, we're going to be dumping this into our, uh, our silo here in order to make TMR. So I know it's a little bit different. I'm, it's not chaff. It's actual corn that's going in here to make TMR. So uh, let's put this in right now. Unfortunately, no double dumps. That uh, doesn't work with this setup. Right about there. Dump that in. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is going to be going in for TMR. Now, we don't need too much corn in here, as you can see. Uh, capacity is only, what is it? 1.5 mil. But we only need 20% corn, uh, as opposed to the silage is really what I need to make sure we put a lot in here. And we have we already have hay in here. We already have 350,000 liters of hay. that I'm slowly feeding to the cattle as is. But the silage, which should be ready, actually, I can start pouring that in there as well. And once we get that all kind of settled inside, uh, guys, we should be good with the TMR. In fact, let's go take a look. Let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. There we go. So we got to unpack all this silage, guys. This silage. Oh, that's not going to unpack. I need to get a bucket. And uh, the silage has got to go into that, that uh, silo system. And then we're going to be good to go. And it's TMR time. That's going to make us some happy cattle. Oh, yes. Yes, she will. But of course, that guys, that's going to all hinge on us getting through this corn harvest right now. And I am looking really low on fuel on this tractor. And I got no way of getting more. Oh, we may. We'll see. I think we may be okay. It's going to be touch and go here, folks. It's going to be touch and go. 
Guys, look at the headway we're making. Doing pretty good here. We've dumped off. We've got about 100,000 liters of corn sitting back in the silo. Things are looking pretty good. However, just got a call from Gertie. She, she was supposed to come by and feed some pigs. And she says she left one of the gates open. Thanks. Thanks, Gertie. Uh, she just came back to close it and noticed that we're short a couple. And she managed to catch a couple, but she could see a couple down in the ravine. Yeah, thanks, Gertie. That's great. Nothing like having something else to do while you're sitting watching TV. Um, so let me go dump this off. I'm going to go disconnect the trailer. We'll take the John Deere over uh, and get back to the farm quickly. I, got, I, I can go pick these pigs up. She said she thinks there's about five, maybe four down in the ravine. Um, we're going to have to go pick these pigs up. Of course. Stop. Come on. Right there. Right into the trailer. Perfect. <laughs> Let's shut that off. We'll let this unload. Let's go disconnect. Uh, yeah, we got to disconnect that trailer. This one's only a little bit full, actually. It's not too bad so far. We'll just shut this down and get out of here. All right, guys. Uh, this is where the fence was. This, this was broken right here. And they got... I just had to put a piece back in. It's all good. But now they went down this little bank down here. Let's get over top of the fence. You can kind of see them. There's a couple just down on the backside over there. You can just barely see them down there. We're going to go grab them. I think there's five. It looks like there's five. I think I've seen so far. We'll go down below. Um, I've got to get a way of getting those pigs back up top of this hill. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. They're, looks like they're happy down there. It's nice and mucky, so at least they should stay put. There's nowhere to go, really. I mean, that far hillside up there, that's just going to climb on the far side. They're not going up that. Oh, get over this barbed wire fence. Ah, there we go. Um... Yeah, they're not, they're not going to climb that hill. That's way too steep on the far side there. So I'm not too worried about that. If they go down that way, they're just going to be into our fields. And it gets pretty narrow up to the north up there. It goes towards town. I can't see them going there. And plus, it's all... You can see how there's a fairly good-sized pond there. They'll have to climb that hillside. I think they're pretty content around the back side of this little uh, boggy area down here. So it should be good. Let's go get, see if we can pick these pigs back up. So this is this is my plan. I've got a plan. The Valtra is going to be our main equipment. I thought about taking the truck down there with, I don't know, I've got that small trailer. I could I might be able to get them onto that if I put the sides on it. That seems like a bit of a mess to me. I've got some just kind of utility haulers over in the far shed. I'm going to stick those on the Veltra. Now the veltra has got more fuel than the John Deere. I'm not by a lot. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's down to a quarter of a tank. But at least it's got a bit more fuel. The John Deere is running on fumes right now. And I got to finish off that har harvest still. Uh, Gertie, you're killing me today, Gertie. Once again. Um, so we're going to go hook up to these uh, little little containers. And I hope I can... I should probably get all the cattle on them, I think. And by cattle, I mean, I mean pigs. Um, now, guys, my, my purpose between these was more for moving the, uh, the pallets of pig food around. That's what I was using these for. I think I can get some pigs on these and they should stay put, right? Should be fine. Should be fine. I should be fine. Um, the one thing is I've got to get down that slope with these two on and then how do I get back out is going to be the question. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a fight. Uh, let's head down towards that ravine and see if we can get down in there. All right, we're just at the back side of the farm right here. You can see, well, there's the farm silos right there. I think we can get down right here. It looks like, yeah, the ground's pretty solid here. And then there's that uh, kind of boggy area. If we kind of scoot around between the trees down that far side, I think we are going to be golden. Let's see if we can get through here. All right, let's hop on up. All right, nice and easy, like. Down the slope. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's not that steep at all. This is about the same steepness as... Oh, man. Did I just bury those things? Did I do any damage? I think we got some dirt on the front of it. That's okay. Um, it's about as steep as the field that we're just in right now, to be honest with you. That's not too bad. All right, let's see if we can just scoot around the far side over here. I think I saw them over on the... Yeah, it's on the far side of this, uh, this little boggy area down here. Oh, she's a little slick in here. Gotta make sure we don't get stuck. I don't want to go down below. I know it's really super soft down there. You can see how the dirt just kind of sucks everything in. We do not want to go down there with this. But we'll see. I think there's a spot over here we might be able to get across. Yeah, I can see the pigs just up ahead there. Let's see if we can get across through this spot here. This is where she's going to get a little dicey. I do not want to end up in the drink. Because, oh man. We got a little beaver dam down here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on. There we go. Nice. We should be able to cross on. Look at this. Perfect. Nice. All right. We should be good. I think it should hold us. Come on. Get up there. 
There we go. Nice. And then across. Give her some gas. Up, 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 up. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. She's going to be a fight to get up on this with these. Let's see. We'll have to get a little bit of speed, I think. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, try one more time here. We'll get her up. We'll get her up. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Up we go. All right, guys. We got the last one. There was actually six of these little guys. Oh, look at them. Um, they're right down by the field. Look, at I could have actually came the back side from uh, the cornfield in here. Let me get this gate up so it doesn't get back out again. <sighs> what a pain. There we go. Lock that into place. Awesome. All right. So we got our six pigs back. All right. Looking good. Now I just need to get the heck back out of here. It's so thick down in here and mushy. I'm just sliding everywhere. The Veltra's... Well, she's, she's a little dirty, guys. She got a little dirty down here. It's okay. We didn't get stuck, and we should be able to get back out the same way we came in. I wish I could just get over to the like the cattle farm area right there and just climb that hill. That'd be that'd be convenient. All right, let's see if we can get out of here, shall we? Let's fire this thing on up. Get these pigs off the ground. All right, pigs. Buckle up. <laughs> uh, well, that's a nice view the whole way home. <laughs> um, all right, through the woods we go. All right, here comes the, the beaver dam bridge. Hopefully, this holds again. Hold on, guys. Oh, man, it's, it's so tight to get through here. And there's a bunch of logs and stuff we're, we're trying to clear as well. Um, not exactly the best spot to try to come through. There we go. Come on through. Keep those wheels on that deck. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. Just a little bit further. Come on up, the, up there. Nice. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then I just got to get around the stump without falling in. Hold on, guys. Perfect. Oh, and through the trees. <laughs> They're getting smacked by branches left, right, and center. Uh, that's tough on the bacon. All right, perfect. I think we're good. All right, we just got to get back up that hill. A little bit of a hill climb. Give her the boots. Get on up there. Get on up there. Nice. There we go. All right, piggies. Let's get you back home, shall we? Perfect. Let's get these pigs back into the pen. Uh, yes, yeah, six, six of them. That's it. Hopefully, hopefully that's it. I didn't do a count, guys. I hope it was only six. I mean, I guess if I'm wrong, someone else is getting some free bacon out of it. Um, yeah, we we really saved our bacon there. Ooh, you suck. <laughs> um, anyways, let's get this turned around. I gotta empty the last couple out, and uh, that looks good. Oh, wrong way. Get that all the way up. There we go. And lift this on up. I mean, pigs are good now. At least they're, they've been fed. Thanks, Gertie. Appreciate that. Next time, maybe try not to lose any. Uh, but whatever. Anyways, we got lots of bacon. Uh, things are looking pretty good there. I just need to finish off this corn harvest, guys. So get back over to that field. That's going to really uh, be the, the end of our day. I mean, it's it's getting kind of cold out. <laughs> it's, it's freezing right now. Zero degrees. It is freezing right on the button. Um gonna leave this right here for the timing we'll clean this up in a bit uh, we'll get back in that john deere head back over the field finish off the corn and uh that's the end of the harvest for us at least i mean it is winter after all technically now you know what we gotta get we gotta sell some of this crop make some money we gotta get back out of the, we gotta get out of this hole we've dug ourselves into but uh, anyways that's gonna do it for us today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did you guys know what to do slap that like don't forget to subscribe did i say don't don't forget to subscribe that's a bad accent don't do that clutch and other than that, folks, have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time from Georgetown. It's winter time. This is Clutch. Over and out.